Hello, thank you for joining us on Air TV. This is English News Broadcast at exactly 10.30 p.m. I am Salim Brahana here from the headquarter in Asmara. First, the top stars. Athlete Nazrit Waldo registers new record. World Autism Day Observed. China European Union Virtual Leaders Summit. Buyers of Russian gas have weeks to pay for supplies with rubles. Olympian athlete Nazrit Wildu registered new record, finishing the race in 21 minutes and 28 seconds at the International Marathon Daegu that was held today, 3rd April, in South Korea. Nazrit improves the record that was held by herself with 7 minutes. Moreover, Olympian athlete Nazrit has improved the 10-kilometer national record that was held by athlete Simrat Sultan since 2006. Athlete Nazareth has also improved her national marathon record for the fourth time, including at the Barrett Marathon 2018, Gold Coast Marathon 2019, Australia Milano Marathon 2021, and at this year's Seoul Marathon 2022. According to her coach, Livingston Abraha, athlete Nazareth is preparing to take part at the international athletic competition that will be held this year in the United States. The Merav Setis Athletics Training Center has produced many Olympian athletes, including Nazareth Weldu and Rahel Daniel. The World Autism Awareness Day was observed yesterday, 2nd April, at national level at my Dimonet Central Region and under the team participation at workplace post-pandemic challenge and opportunities. Speaking at the event, the chairman of the National Association of Inte Intellectual and Developmental Disability of Eritrea, Lieutenant Colonel Birhane Bohretian, said that the message of the day is for the society to fully understand that autism is not a disease and support people living with autism in all their daily lives as members of the society, free of discrimination of any kind. Lieutenant Colonel Brahana also called on the concerned institutions and especially the ministries of health and education to strengthen efforts in the effort to enable people living with aut autism to properly lead their lives as ordinary members of the society. Similarly, the National Association of Intellectual and Developmental Disability of Eritrea observed the World Autism and Down Syndrome Day at regional level in the port city of Asap. Southern Red Sea region, featuring various programs. World Autism Day is being observed for the 10th time at international level and for the third time at national level. We will be back with international news after a short break. Please stay tuned. China has offered the European Union assurance that it will speak it will seek peace in Ukraine as it resisted pressure from the grouping to adopt a tougher stance on Russia. In the first China European Union summit in two years, Pre Premier Li Keqiang told European Union leaders that Beijing would push for peace in its own way, while President Xi Jinping, who has developed a close relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin, said he opened the European Union would take an independent approach and a nod to Europe's close ties with the United States. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen said leaders from both sides exchanged very clearly opposing views on many topics, but expressed hopes that China would use its influence as a major power and permanent member of the United Nations Security Council to convince Russia to stop the fighting. European Council President Charles Michel told a news briefing with Volder Leyen after the first summit since December 30, 2022 that they called on China to help end the war in Ukraine. China cannot turn a blind eye to Russia's violation of international law. China has been, for, has been forging closer security and economic ties 
with Russia and has refused to condemn what Russia has titled a special military operation in Ukraine or call it an invasion. Beijing has repeatedly criticized what it calls illegal and unilateral Western sanctions. Several weeks before the February 24th invasion, China and Russia declared a no-limits strategic partnership. Buyers of Russian gas have weeks to pay for supplies in rubles. The Kremlin has said, adding that Moscow will not turn off the tapes on Friday. President Vladimir Putin signed an order on Thursday saying countries deemed hostile, those that have imposed sanctions on Russians following its invasion of Ukraine, should pay from April 1st for gas in rubles or see their contracts halted. Western countries have said payments in rubles would breach contracts that can take months or more to renegotiate while Germany, Europe's top economy and industrial powerhouse, branded the Russian decree political blackmailing. On Friday, Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said was he was asked a lot of questions whether this means that if there is no confirmation in rubles, then gas supplies will be cut off from April 1st, and he answered no. Europe is heavily reliant on Russia's for its energy needs, with about 40% of its gas coming from the country. If Moscow decides to halt deliveries, it could trigger supply shortage, factory closure, and cripple crippling energy costs according to the region. Peskov said that Russia could at some point abandon the ruble order if conditions change it. But in current conditions, rubles are the most preferable and reliable options for them. And now let's remind you the top stories. Athlete Nazareth Waldo registers new record. World Autism Day Observed. China European Union Virtual Leader Summit. Buyers of Russian gas have weeks to pay for supplies with rubles. That's all with the news for this evening. Thanks for being with us.